Hello Scorpio, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. Oh, we've got two. If you believe, now always, the law of attraction is if you believe it, you will see it. A lot of the, the norm is that if I don't see it, I don't believe it. But what we're saying here is if you believe it, you will see it. So if you're achieving, wanting to achieve something, you have to believe that you've already achieved it or that you're capable. And it's a big yes. That is exactly how you have to be thinking here, Scorpio. Believe in yourself. Believe in the co-creational process here. Strength and guidance. Now, I did mention co-creational process. The reason I'm saying that is because we're great co-creators with the universe. So they're trying to help you. There's a lot of strength. It's about they're trying to support you here and give you guidance. <coughs> so believe in what you're trying to achieve. It will come to fruition. Holy love, yeah. There's a lot of love around you from spirit, your angels, your ancestors, your family, God, whatever it is you call it. They've got your back here. And they're trying to give you strength and guidance to help you go forward here. So believe in yourself. That's what this is all about. We'll see more. Six of Swords. The Four of Pentacles. The Four of Swords. The Ace of Swords. The central energy is the emperor energy, the hierophant, the eight of cups, page of wands, and the seven of wands. Now what we've got here is we've got two fours here, and what we've got here is we've got a feeling being stuck here. Now we need to let something go, and this could be like your belief system. You have to be positive. You have to believe in your ability to co-create with the universe to bring your goals to fruition. They come quicker. So Spirit is trying to help you with strength and they're trying to guide you as you're going along. So there's something you need to let go here. <clears throat> like I say, it could be the way you're seeing things or there's some, something you have to have strength to let go to bring new things in. Now, this could be you working in a job for years, but you're not happy in it. It could be that you're in an environment uh, that you've lived in, that you've had security in. But it's not for you anymore. It's holding you back. It's anything that's holding you back, you need to let go. Now, this could be in any area of your life. It could be in your work life, your finances, your relationships, or your home environments. So it'll be different for everybody. You can see there's no decisions being made. There's no movement going forward. So you've got to have the strength here. Now, one way to gain the strength, and because the overall energy here is about empowerment, it's about knowledge. <coughs> it's about you gaining knowledge. And it's also about you going towards your wish fulfillment. So I did say here, if there's anything here that's holding you back, this is what you've got to do here is you've got to reflect and look at things. Think about how far you've come. You've been through challenges here. He's been in a bit of a battle at times. But he's trying to think about how to go forward to move himself on from what's holding him back. Now, how we can let go of things is by actually being honest with ourselves and recognising what's missing in our life. So this is like relationships that have lost their spark. It could be jobs that are not, like I say, that are not fulfilling us anymore. Anything where there's not contentment in your life. Because what he's doing is he's leaving this behind and he's going towards the nine of cups, which is contentment and wish fulfillment. So this is about what you've got to look at here. You've got to be brave enough. You've got to have the strength. Spirit's trying to support you to move you on. This will help reflection, recovery. This could be recovering from an illness as well for those that have been ill. But it's about reviewing and uh, deciding how you're going to go forward. And when you do that, you'll start to get clarity here. You'll see, you'll start to see the way forward. You'll move from choppy waters into calmer waters. Now, this is about having the strength. Spirit is trying to help you here. Aces are new beginnings. It's on strength and guidance. It's about gaining clarity. They want you to start looking at what's missing from your life, reflecting on it and starting to see the way forward. Now, it could be that you might have to take control here and you might have to speak up and communicate. It's going to benefit you. You're going to move away from things that are holding you back and there's going to be a lot of success through that. So when we're moving away from our wish fulfillment, we want to be thinking about what it is that we want to create. That's going to put us back in the driving seat. So situations, jobs where we can grow and flourish, where we can develop our skills. Relationships where they're passionate and there's room for growth. Uh, and it's a well-balanced relationship. There's equal 
partnership, so we're enjoying that. Uh, learning new skills that we could develop. This could be a teacher as well, somebody with a lot of knowledge that's going to help you go forward. So if there's something you want to learn, now is the time to do it. So if you're stuck in a job, for example, that you're not enjoying, it might give you financial security, but you might want to learn something new or use a talent that's going to be more fulfilling for you in the future. So be strong, be honest with yourself. This could also be information coming forward or knowledge you're gaining from someone else that's going to help you get the clarity you need to move towards what it is that you want to, what you're passionate about here, what you're passionate about. Now, the Hierophant here, this could be employment. There could be a new job coming in, like I say. This can be companies, it conglomerates. It's a combination of type of energy where people are coming together to create great stability. It could also be you coming into align with yourself. It's you, your own best guru. So if you're wanting to be empowered, your traditional values will help you. Always tune in with yourself. The answers are within when you're reflecting. But this could be being around people as well with the same religious beliefs that have the same morals or traditional values as yourself. And that will help you flourish because you'll be able to relate to them and uh, you'll be passionate about what you're going towards. You're seeing things the same way. It's a supportive group of people in that sense. Okay. Now, what Spirit's saying is when you're leaving, you're going towards your rich fulfillment, leaving things behind that aren't fulfilling and going towards what will fulfill you. You're going to be in a position here where you're going to be strong again and you're going to have the upper hand and you're going to be able to take on any challenges that come along and you're going to feel empowered through doing this. So there's an empowerment feeling about this reading. So you've got the upper hand. It's about, you could even have to defend yourself at some point here. There's, but any challenges, even when we're going towards things that we we're happy about and we're enjoying or we want to, you know, um, take up, there's still always challenges along life's path. So it's about, yes, to believing in yourself. Yes, believe that you can achieve these things. Uh, you don't have to stay stuck here. You can gain empowerment through going towards more fulfilling things that are going to you're passionate about. Now, I will take, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clarify this Four of Swords energy they're telling me. Right, okay. Right. Now, the Four of Swords energy here is about gaining enlightenment. Don't be frightened to make decisions and think about how you want to go forward. Because things, as you as you do this and you recover and you review things, things are going to come to light and it's going to help you get the clarity you need. And even when we're going down life's path towards things, things become more clear as we move forward. So there could be clarity coming in. There'll be definitely clarity coming in. Things are going to become clearer and it's going to put an end to your challenges that you've been going through. Now, these challenges here are karmic lessons. Um, it could be with people, environments. So whatever it is now that we're letting go, you've not to be frightened to do this. There's a fear factor can be attached to this as well. Don't be afraid to go towards your wish fulfillment here. It will end your challenges. You've learned a lot, you've been through a lot and you've survived at Scorpio. And this is about bringing in brand new beginnings, rebirth and rejuvenation, new things, starting up new things. This can also be the birth of a child as well. If that's what you're deciding you want to do, you want to go and you might want to have a family. Uh, but this is about somebody who's at one with their environments and their relationships, and she's at, there's a great lot of harmony in her life through going towards new opportunities, creative opportunities. Okay. I will just take a couple of Divine Direction cards. Wait. Wait. Take time to think on the matter at hand. Don't be tempted to rush. That's what we're saying here. Holiday. It's time to go on that holiday that you've been dreaming about and live life. Absolutely. I hope this helps, Scorpio. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.